Welcome everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So, this position could very well lead to the crown of Daventry itself. Now, let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh, over here! Over here, I got mine right here! I'm sorry, I really am, but that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a, a sweaty piece of cloth. Oh, probably just a snot rag. <laughs> Each night hopeful will need to bring back to the theatre, dum 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 one eye of a hideous beast. And, due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. Like your mother! No adorably cute, fuzzy or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Thank you. Nothing to see here. There are many hideous eyes to find in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. can do it seriously you're gonna come on I could run that of course I have the hiccup so watch your step kid oh thanks I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Graham, the pleasure's mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventry can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. My own invention, of course. Oh, what does a crumbler do? It lifts, it chops, it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. It seems that way. Daventry's been an interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the Queen died. And now, with the bridges out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. I'm sorry. I think I stole the top of your table. Keep out. Under construction. <coughs> Caution. Oh. Bees and distress. Well, I guess I can't go that way anymore. Well, shall we do? So, how did you find an eye? It was a hideous beast lurking inside. It was a puppy. Oh, oh, I need the puppy. I want oh, a puppy. Rude. Oh, yeah, I got money. Well, fooey. I wanted to make friends with the squirrels. Get out of here! Scram! Shoot! Beat it! Uh -oh. Ugh, these dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Mm. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. 
So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wetzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wetzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches! Patches! I love patches! I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. Hmm. There's the sword. <laughs> There's the, uh, uh, mage. And that blank sign ahead of me. Yeah, I have no idea why I'm doing all these weird voices, but I am. Supposed to stay closed. No, I don't want to open the door again. She asked me to keep it closed. Well, those are some big scratches on the door. <gasps> Oi. Oh, it's the bakers. Hello there, and good afternoon. Um, forgive the shop from lacking our usual favorites. With all the bridges out and my supplier missing, I can't keep all my delicious treats stocked. But uh, have a look around. I'm here to answer any questions. Oh, hope you're hungry. What's today's special? <laughs> oh, well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie. A delicacy big enough to feed an army. Or someone with the appetite of an army. I've eaten it in one sitting before. Well, don't judge. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? Unfortunately, my ingredients haven't been delivered. And I can't complete the recipe. Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Ooh. All right, tell you what, Ooh. if you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted price of one gold coin. Uh, I'll think about it. So where can I find the ingredients for that giant pie? I'll also need one gold coin. But which ingredient? I am not going to... Never mind. Good day. Good day, sir. Oh, great day. Tree. Like me, this little tree was new in town and needed some time to grow and find its way. <laughs> what? Too sappy? <laughs> Uh, I have nothing to say. You'll warm up to it. What the? Give me a second. <sighs> you want the delivery, boy? Are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, horse feathers, Chester. This boy's no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He appears to be a compassionate <coughs> gentleman, but he is clearly out of his comfort zone. He is one who needs to think more with his brain and less with his heart if he is going to defeat the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, we're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true, we're judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't <laughs> read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Yeah, we couldn't tell fortunes if we wanted to. 
Some scoundrel stole our fortune table whilst we were watching the parade. Mm-hmm. You haven't seen anyone rolling around Daventry with our tabletop, have you? Yes, I'm gonna hold, uh, own up to it. I I'm sorry, I, I couldn't find anyone to pay. A man was stranded in the forest and needed a wheel, so I borrowed your table and lent it to him. Oh, that's actually pretty clever. We can't be mad at that, can we? We were about to toss that old table anyway. Glad it's being put to use. Oh, thank the stars. We don't have to lock our doors anymore. I think we're safe now. Thanks for being honest, boy. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. I like how creepy you look. It's very cool. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. Yeah, it was called dinner. It looked like some type of broken lantern. Ooh, what are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kind of like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. Ooh. He reminds me of our son. <sighs> No fool, I walked out without hearing the rest of their conversation. Oh, there's book. I don't know. No, I I thought it was for the walk down the door. Alright. One last pl place to try. The blacksmith. Graham, if you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. I woke up on the floor, my bed nowhere to be found. Can you believe oh that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. Tell Ready me. for action? Do you have any idea where I can hunt down an eye of a hideous beast? What a glorious day for a tournament. My favorite time of year. Fire ride new recruits, the clanks and clinks of armor clashing, and the action the very finest. One hopeful always rises to the occasion. I love it all. Some people in town, they complain about the barbaric events, but it's a tradition I'm proud to be a part of. If I was competing, I'd go after the biggest, scariest beast I could find even if it meant certain death. As they say, fortune favors the bold. You, on the other hand, have a kind heart. Probably wouldn't blind a beast just to win a competition. Your arms look like they've never even held a bow. No, you're just too nice. But perhaps you'll prove me wrong. Hmm. Are we going after the dragon again? Is that how he lost his left eye? What's that weapon on the wall? So, I've been meaning to ask. What is that amazing blade for? Is it for battling vicious werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? Oh, that? No, no, that's for gardening. I use it to trim my hedges. Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, I'm willing to part with it for the price of one shiny gold coin. Ooh. I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attending. <laughs> yes, I'll take it. How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Fortune favors the bold, and Amaya Thanks. favors the fortune. Amaya? Ooh, what a lovely name. Did you do it? Did you spend your only gold coin on the epic weed whacker? Yes, I did. I did. The bowl costs a fortune. Now, Graham, promise me you will only use this for its intended purpose. I shall be brave in all my hedge trimmings. Those plants will never see it coming. Ooh. Ooh, ooh 
there's a letter there. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. Oh, it's a Mrs. Crumbler. <laughs> Sorry about the hiccups again. There we go. No, oh, I don't want to knock, I want to. Very good. a few steps behind, but I was hopeful a beast was in that well, and I wanted an eye to impress everyone. But Grandpa, the dragon lives down there. I didn't know that he had Gwendolyn, and pretend you don't either. This story takes place before the one I told you last night. Sometimes a story is best told out of order. Oh, got it. <laughs> Makes it more fun when the story books are told out of order. Kind of like a puzzle. Jump! I was out of my league down there, but I had something to prove. I guess you could say I was stuck between a rock and a hard place. Ouch. Stop stalling, Grandpa. I know the... All right. Whoop. Whoop. That one. Uh, hey! Whatever's down here, it's mine. You don't even have a weapon. Or a gardening tool. Alarma Afamata. Stalarma Afamata. Stalarma Afamata. Stalarma Afamata. Afamata. Wata. Afamata 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 
water. I remember Water Wait, yes, I know the way And then we pause there for some tea and cake. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Tea and cake is good. Especially nice lemon cake. I like lemons. Lemons are nice. Lemon flavored cake is good. I, I, I enjoy lemon. Oh, okay, back to the game. Water. I think he said bananas fly on cloudy days. Pinocchio! Peanut butter. 